All right, in this video here, I'm going to show you how I start my hydroponic basil seeds. Now, these are sweet basil. Now, first of all, I buy them in bulk. If you go ahead and buy them in a store in those little packets, usually they're around 600 milligrams. Now, if you were to buy a pound's worth, it would cost you around 755 bucks. Instead, I buy a complete pound and I'm a, I'm a complete pound of sweet basil in bulk for about $29. And then I go ahead and I just put them in this little applicator here and it costs a couple bucks. And this is the easiest way I found that to apply them to my cubes. All right. Also, first we're going to start off with these are grow and grow cubes. These are inch and a half cubes. There's 96 in a pack. Now, if you notice here, I have it already in my tray. I've already poured a gallon of my harvested rainwater in the tray. You're supposed to have the water set at 5.5. That's your pH level. And it happens that my rainwater is exactly 5.5. Now, if you notice here, after pouring one gallon in the tray, then applying my pad, my cubes, you'll see a little bit of the, the discoloration here. None of this had soaked up the water, and there's a full gallon in here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just pour about another half a gallon. I like to totally saturate these so I don't have to go back and water them later until it's time for me to take them out and transplant them. If you put too much water in, you could always just tilt the tray sideways and drain it out. All right, now that my uh, slab here has absorbed all the water, what I like to do before I apply the seeds is that usually if you go ahead and tap the seeds on here, they'll bounce around. Some will fall in the hole and so forth. What I like to do is, this is a little, I guess, inhaler or something for asthma that I found in my, that was old in my father's cabinet. What I like to do is right above the seed hole is just go ahead and press these in. And if you look, I got a nice little round mark here. Give a little indentation on each one. Just go ahead and spin it. This thing's nice because it's got these little ridges around the side that actually allow it to dig in a little bit. Okay, now for my seeds. Let's go ahead and I just tap them here. Whoops. See, that's why we did these round indentations here. It allows it to trap the seeds within that cube without dancing around. If you put too much in, no big deal. You just go ahead and pick some out with your finger. It'll stick right to it. I always put a little bit more just in case some don't germinate. So here we go. We have all these done in a few seconds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to indentent all my holes, apply all my seeds, and then we'll go to the next step. All right, now that all the seeds are done, it's been sitting about a half an hour. You can notice that you already start getting some of the membrane around the seeds from the moisture. And it's always good to see when you first get your seeds. It means they're healthy seeds. Put a little steak in there, sweet basil, 22nd of June. And then what we're going to do before we go ahead and put our humidity dome on, we're going to go ahead and just spray the seeds down real lightly with water. And then we're going to go ahead and put the humidity dome on it. Now, I have some here. Some of this tray here is sweet basil and some is arugula. Now I did this about, I don't know, 
not even 24 hours ago. You can see how arugula here is already starting to sprout. Arugula sprouts very quick, and it's ready to harvest in around 20 days. Then you're going to see our basil here. See that here? They're looking good. Now, I usually put these shallow humidity domes on and don't necessarily put any light on it. I keep them inside the house because it's a little bit too warm out here right, right now in New Jersey. You don't want the temperature to, to, to fluctuate too much. And then you notice over here, this basil was done on the 16th. And we got some healthy looking plants now. Now what I do is I have the, the large, the tall humidity dome on. And the reason for this is I don't spend a lot of money on expensive CFL lights or so forth. What I do is I go to Home Depot and I go ahead and I get this cheap little construction light. You notice here. You get them for about 6 or $7. And then I have a 26-watt CFL and the light temperature or color is 6500 Kelvin so you're gonna see on the light it's gonna be like it's gonna be considered daylight and somewhere in the package you're gonna see a 6500 K that gives you a nice blue spectrum and I just set it right on top of it like this I don't have to build no mounts for you know a, uh, a fluorescent light assembly or nothing I just take it put it on the top creates a little bit of heat in there which will give me a nice nice little bit of moisture inside. It'll start beating up like this. And then uh, probably within a week or so from this stage here, they'll be ready to go ahead and put my NFT system. All right, if you have any questions, you could go ahead on my Facebook page and just message me anything, and uh, I'll let you know. Also, there's going to be a link on there to where I purchased my seeds and so forth. Alrighty, I hope this helps you out. Thank you for watching.